What is up, everybody? Steve Jackson here from Evolve Guitar. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Afterglow from Ed Sheeran. And I wanted to let you know that I'm going to include tabs for this song down in the description below. And hey, if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. All right, the first thing that we want to do for this song is go ahead and put a capo on the fourth fret of our guitar. Uh, once we've done that, let me show you the chords. So the first chord we're going to do is a G chord. And specifically, it's this style of G chord that um, actually Ed Sheeran uses a lot, where we're actually holding down the third fret on both the high E and B strings. So we're using four fingers uh, to play this G chord. So we got third fret, second fret, and then we got open, open, and then we got the third fret for the last two strings also. So that's our G chord we're working with in this song. And basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna strum this G chord eight times, okay? So. Okay, so that's one measure of that. And what we're gonna do is actually repeat it. So we're gonna do a total of 16 strums on this G chord. Now in the song, if you listen closely, you can hear that he kind of changes up the strumming pattern a little bit but basically what he's doing is strumming eight times for each chord. So we're gonna do it that way. Uh, so here we go, we're gonna do eight times and then repeat it, so. And you might notice in there too that I'm kind of accenting certain strums. And what I mean by accenting is basically just strumming certain times a little louder than others. So kind of what he's doing here, you can hear He's accenting, especially on the first strum. So if you're counting to eight, right, on the first strum on number one, you're gonna strum a little louder, so like this. That kind of idea. Another one you can accent is four. So if you were to accent the first strum and then the fourth strum, that'll sound real close to what he's doing. So it sounds kind of like this. Okay, hear that? So I'm accenting one and then four. All right, so the next chord that he's gonna play is called C add nine. And that's kind of a fancy sounding chord, but it's really simple. All we gotta do is take the same G chord shape that we just did, and we're gonna keep our ring and pinky in the same spot, and then our pointer and middle fingers are just gonna move down a string. So now we don't play the high E string. We're on third fret A, second fret D, open G, and then we're still on the third fret on the B and high E strings. So that's our C add nine chord. Now we're gonna do the same thing with this chord that we just did with the G chord. We're gonna strum it eight times twice, right? It's a total of 16. And we're gonna accent certain, strum, uh, certain strums. So I'm gonna accent the first strum and the fourth strum. So, okay, so from the beginning, we got our G chord, total of 16 times, and then our C add nine, total of 16 times. So it'll sound kind of like this. Okay, from here, we're gonna go to what's called a D sus four chord. And really simple, it's the same sort of idea with all of these chords, we're keeping these two fingers in place so these never move. So with that in mind, we're keeping those and all we're gonna do is put our pointer finger now so it's on the second fret of the third string and then we're not playing now the high or the low E or the A. So we're playing four strings, it's gonna sound like this. So open and second fret, third, third. So now this D sus four chord, it's going to be shorter than the other ones. So we're only going to strum this a total of eight times. So and again, you can accent the first strum and even the fourth strum if you want. So okay, so from the beginning, Okay, now we're gonna go to a chord called E minor seven. And again, just like the other chords, 
the ring and pinky just stay put. They stay right there on the third fret where they have been. And then with our other two fingers, we're gonna do what would be kind of a normal E minor shape. So that is the second fret on the A string and second fret on the D string. And we're all gonna, we're also gonna play the low E string now. So we're playing all six strings. So we got open, second fret, second fret, open, and then third, and then third. There, so that's E minor seven. And this one also is a little shorter. So it's just eight total strums on this E minor seven chord. Okay, and then the final chord in this part, which is the verse, um, is gonna go back to that C add nine chord that we just did a second ago. So right back to this. So third fret, second fret, open, third fret, third fret, and then no high E string. Uh, and same thing, we're gonna do, as we did before, we're gonna do eight strums twice, so. So let me play through that whole verse section for you. And again, you know, like in the original song, there's little parts where he strums slightly less. So you can listen to it. If you want to be exact with what he's doing, you can hear sometimes he's strumming a little less, but that is the chord progression. And if you do those strums, should work really good with the song. And there's only two sections in this song. So we're already halfway done the verse section. And now getting into the chorus, we're going to just play really the same chords, just in a different order. So we're gonna start off with that C add nine chord that we've done already. So again, we're not playing the low E, we're at third fret on A, second fret on um, D, open G, third fret B, third fret E. And again, we're just gonna strum it eight times twice through, so. Okay, then we're going to our G chord. So pretty much the same shape as this C add nine. We're just gonna move our middle finger and pointer finger up one string, and that's our G chord, and we're gonna do this a total of eight times, so. Okay, from the beginning of this chorus section now, we've got our C add nine, we'll do this 16 times total, so. And then G. And then to our D sus four chord, which we did a moment ago, but I'll refresh your memory. It is, so we're not playing the low E or the A. We're gonna be open D, second fret on the uh, G string, and then third fret on B, and third fret on E. And we're gonna play this just eight times total. And that's it, and that's just gonna repeat those three chords for the chorus section. So it's the C add nine, 16 times, the G eight times, and then the D eight times. Let me play that whole thing for you. <laughs> 